what's up uh, this is the Ionic 5 range test 120 kilometers with uh, RW rear wheel drive car brand new three days old not even we've got 19 inch wheel 3555 R19 Michelin 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 uh, Primacy 4 We charge 200% and we drive on highway until we have no more battery available so a bit disappointing with the unity so far it's supposed to be at uh, close to 200 uh, and uh, yeah, it's not so great so I had to change the station the charger because it was only at 108 and now we are 187, oh man, 141, come on. What the heck? Still better. Charge is complete. We are at uh, Oyunti Montbartier, north of Toulouse. We're gonna take the direction of Bordeaux. Uh, once we reach 55% of um, battery capacity, we turn around and come back here and we calculate. The range consumption at 120 kilometers. Yep. You can see as well here 100% state of charge. Temperature of the battery 38 to 32. State of charge BMS 97, so there is 3% buffer, top buffer. Battery DC voltage, good state of health 100%. The car has 587 kilometers and uh, pretty new and they reset the odometer. Let's go for a ride. 1.50 a.m. Friday, hopefully won't be too much traffic on the road. distance that we are we have done is uh, precise compared to Google map okay. halfway 50 percent 22 degrees 20.6 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers we've been driving 178.5 kilometers in an hour and 35 minutes traffic it's still okay yeah, can't complain we reach 20% uh, battery capacity we have done 276 kilometers in 12 and 25 minutes consumption is 20 is 204 watt hour per kilometer temperature the same Destination we have to turn in one kilometers. We have 
five minutes left, 4.3 kilometers left to the Ionity station. We are at 8% of battery, 23, K, 23 degrees still, 315 kilometers reach at uh, average uh, consumption of 203 kilometers, uh, 203 kilowatt hour per kilometers. What our packing is both getting tired and getting tired clearly. Okay, we are arriving at the Unity station that we left two hours and 49 minutes ago. We reached, uh, we managed to drive 300 and 18.8 kilometers, 0.9 even. Consumption is, is 20. Which one I'm gonna take? Is that the second one? Yes. That's the second one. Right. So we reach 318.9 kilometers, consumption 202 watt hour per kilometers. Battery is at 8%, 23 degrees. And we're gonna do some calculation. Yeah, we definitely left two hours and 50 minutes ago. Cool. Back at the office, we can compare what uh, the distance uh, is expected from Google map. We had 321 kilometers. So that means we are, um, the Unique 5 is under reporting by 0.65%. The capacity at the end was, uh, in fact, not eight percent, but eight point five percent that I could uh, see from the from the application on the phone. The range then from zero to hundred percent with the um, underreporting correction is three hundred fifty one kilometer. The average speed, as average speed, was one hundred and fourteen kilometer per hour. Uh, the corrected consumption was from two hundred and two watt hour per kilometer but with the correction is 200.7 watt hour per kilometer and the calculated uh, usable capacity of the battery is 7.4 kilowatt hour pretty close to um, Bjorn um, measured with his AWD Unique 5 at 70.6 kilowatt hour so now you can see on the background the charging speed of uh, the Unique 5 uh, RWD that we did after the trip uh, from 8.5% to 50% and we managed to reach 200 kilowatts above, 206 uh, or 8. Pretty impressed by uh, that, uh, first time for us on Ionity and, and we used um, Tesla, Tesla Burn data that he made all the range tests that he made on the competitors of ionic 5 including the ionic 5 all-wheel drive audi q4 volkswagen id4 gtx tesla model y long range ford mike e skoda enyaq abm and bmw ix3 the range test of the ionic 5 awd was pretty bad uh, 244 watt hour per kilometer but um, our test on the rear rear wheel drive was much better same kind of condition same same tires temperature was 21 degrees and uh, average speed average speed uh, of the trip was pretty similar so the rear wheel drive is much more efficient from this test that what Beyonce uh, did on the um, all-wheel drive. So that's a bit, uh, a bit uh, better, feels better to know that the rear-wheel drive is not as, uh, as bad efficiently compared to uh, the all-wheel drive. And compared to all the other car, which most of them are uh, four-wheel drive, except uh, except the Mac e the Mac e is 240 watt hour per kilometer for the rear wheel, rear wheel drive and uh, the unique is still uh, still better so that's that's good 
Hope you guys like this video. Thanks um, a lot to Bjorn Nayland for all the video. He's amazing uh, YouTuber. I I can't um, miss any of the of his video and uh, all the data that he recorded is so useful for um, all the electrical vehicle buyers and really hope that he continue to test all the new the new vehicle because it's a, it's a mine of uh, of data yeah keep on the good job Bjorn. thanks again bye